Okay everyone, this is a very it's a very quick rough and ready tutorial video. It's come up on a lot of Facebook forums lately about how to stream live stream from the Canon XF705. Um today I'm going to be using well you have the XF705. I have a 4G router which gives me a portable portability I can go out on to different locations and stuff to live stream on a laptop. That's basically it. So it's, it's, it's the router, camera, laptop. That's all I need. So I'll jump straight in and I'll show you step by step what all you need to do in order to get this thing to work. Right, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is and I want to go into the menu of the camera. And let's come across here to, to the network settings. And I have this set up, I'm, I'm going to go through it anyway. I've then go into your network settings. First one that was set up I think for wireless or something that I was looking for. And But if I go to I've connection point number two, which is Ethernet. So I'll, I'll just edit this and I you choose Ethernet. I've chose manual. And this here, the 4G router I'm using, the gateway of the, the IP address of the router is 192.168.1.1. Your router might be different. So if your router is 192.168.0.1, this number here should be zero. And then you choose an IP address away up out of the road for everything else. Um, for that, so I've chose one nine two one six eight one dot one zero one, and that's the IP address of of, of the of the camera. Subnet mask two five five two five five two five five zero. Gateway, as it, that's the that's the IP address of the router one nine two one six eight one one. Yours may be different. Just double check on it. DNS server primary secondary. Don't bother with that, and then we can hit a. Uh, we can set that and save it. Save the configuration. I named it as wired, just as a wired connection. Save it. Okay. Network connection is configured. Go down to your IP streaming settings. Jump in. Go. I've chosen the 4 megabit option. The reason is because where I live, network wouldn't be the strongest. And um, it's the save on bandwidth is that I'm, I'm streaming out of 4 meg just to get the information out. And I've chose channels one two for the for the audio destination address IP address that is the IP address of the laptop one nine two one six eight dot one dot one hundred. You can see it matches with the with the, the router. RTP these were the default. I have two cameras on my system. The second camera I changed the destination of port to four thousand, and the camera I think I give it an IP address of one o two or, or sorry. The IP address of the other camera, give it a, the IP address of 102 instead of 101, which you've seen there in the previous. I chose RTP over UDP. Uh, no preference, just it works more uh, conveniently in OBS. That is basically all you have to do. Then you go to network functions. Choose IP streaming. Hit OK. A menu. That's you come out. Yellow. And then that'll turn white. That's connected. That's it. That's it connected to to the router. You know via via the hardware. Okay, so we just we've jumped onto the laptop here, and we want to see can we receive the signal from the camera before going to OBS. So we we'll go to VLC player, and you go to media. Open network stream. And you type in RTP colon forward slash forward slash at and the 5000 is relating to the port of the camera and you press play. There we go. The camera is now streaming directly over the internet through uh, the VLC. So we can close VLC player down. Right, okay, so we've just we've jumped into OBS and now we know that it's working in VLC. We want to get it coming to OBS. Um, I have two cameras here. It's camera number one as I'm setting up, and so we click on plus, you and then you go to media source, and I, I hadn't really had it in there, but so I'm going to click on add existing, but for this purpose I'm going to go to media source, and call it say I call it camera three. Cam three, hit OK. Disable local file. We don't want to. It's not a local file. And buffering at two megs fine for this, and then we type in the IP address for the camera, 
which is rtp colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.101 colon 5000 use hardware decoding whenever it's available and hit OK so that whenever I hit transition now I should hopefully see the camera there we go that's the camera's now streaming after that point uh, you go to your settings and there's other tutorials that tell you, explains you how to stream from OBS. I don't need to go into that. All I've done now at the minute is show you how to stream, how to get your camera, the XF705, streaming from Ethernet out into a 4G router into OBS. After that, it's what you do with uh, is up to yourself after that. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and maybe give us a bit of a subscribe. Thank you very much.